Want to impress your interviewer and land your dream job? Join us for our video series on common job interview questions and learn how to answer them like a professional. Hi, thank you for joining us today. Can you start by telling us a bit about your educational background and experience as a computer engineer? Hello and thank you for having me. I have a bachelor's degree in computer engineering and I also have a few years of experience in the field. My education provided me with a strong foundation in computer hardware and software design, computer architecture, and programming. I've also gained hands-on experience through internships and projects during my degree. That's great to hear. Could you share a specific example of a project you worked on that challenged you as a computer engineer? Yes. One of the most challenging projects I worked on was developing a new embedded system for a manufacturing client. The system required extensive hardware and software design and it had to interface with multiple existing systems. Additionally, the system had to meet strict safety and reliability requirements, so testing and verification were critical. It was a complex project, but I worked closely with a team of engineers and we were able to successfully deliver the project on time. Impressive. Can you tell us about your experience with programming languages and software tools commonly used in computer engineering? Of course. I have experience with a variety of programming languages, including C, C++, Python, Java, and Assembly. In terms of software tools, I worked with various development environments such as Visual Studio and Eclipse, and uh, simulation tools uh, like MATLAB and uh, Simulink. I'm also familiar with version control systems like Git, and I have experience with agile development methodologies uh, like Scrum. Excellent. Could you describe your approach to problem solving in your role as a computer engineer? My approach to problem solving involves breaking down complex problems into smaller, more manageable components, and then tackling each component in a logical and systematic way. I believe in collaboration and communication with my colleagues and stakeholders to ensure that everyone is on the same page and working towards the same goals. I'm also a strong believer in testing and verification throughout the development process to catch any issues early on and ensure that the final product is high quality. That's a great approach. Thank you for sharing your experiences with us today. Is there anything else you would like to add or mention that we haven't covered yet? I would like to emphasize my passion for computer engineering and my dedication to staying current with the latest developments in the field. I am always seeking opportunities to learn and grow as an engineer. And I believe that my combination of education and experience makes me a strong candidate for any computer engineering position. That's great to hear. Can you tell me about a time when you had to troubleshoot a technical issue and how you went about resolving it? Yes, certainly. In my previous role as a computer engineer at Mozapo company, we had a client who was experiencing repeated crashes on their system. I took charge of the troubleshooting process and after conducting thorough research and analysis, I discovered that the issue was being caused by a faulty driver. 
I immediately reached out to the client and explained the situation and they agreed to let me replace the driver. I was able to source a new driver and install it on the client's system and the issue was resolved. I conducted additional tests to ensure that the issue had been completely resolved and I also provided the client with guidance on how to avoid similar issues in the future. The client was very satisfied with my work and I was commended by my team and manager for my quick thinking and problem solving skills. That's a great example of your technical skills and problem solving ability. Can you also tell me about a time when you collaborated with a team to complete a project and what your role was in that team? Sure. I have worked on several team projects throughout my career. One example that comes to mind is uh, when I was part of a team of computer engineers working on a software development project for a client. My role on the team was to design and implement uh, the software's networking functionality. I collaborated closely with my team members uh, to ensure that my work was aligned with the overall project goals and I communicated regularly with the project manager to keep them up to date on my progress. I also provided technical guidance to other team members when needed and I reviewed their work to ensure that it met our quality standards. The project was completed successfully and the client was very pleased with the final product. I received positive feedback from both my team members and the client for my contributions to the project. That's impressive. Finally, can you tell me about your experience working with different programming languages and which ones you are most proficient in? I have experience working with a variety of programming languages, as I mentioned, including C++, Java, Python, and JavaScript. I am most proficient in C++ and Java as those are the languages I have worked with the most throughout my career. In my current role, I work primarily with C++, which I am very comfortable with. I have experience using C++ to develop software applications as well as to optimize the performance of existing applications. I have also worked with Java extensively and I have experience using it for both software development and web development. Great! Thank you for sharing your experience and expertise in the field of computer engineering. That concludes our interview for today. We will be in touch soon regarding the next steps in the hiring process. Thank you for the opportunity to speak with you today. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks for joining us for our video series and job interview questions in English. We hope you feel more prepared and confident for your next job interview. Remember to follow up with a thank you note and to be aware of your online presence.